To all who come to this happy place, welcome. Good morning, gang. Welcome to my blog. Thank you for joining me this morning. It's Friday, so happy Friday or happy Saturday, depending on what day you're watching, whatever. I'm going to be leaving in a little bit to go and meet my IT team for breakfast, just our monthly breakfast meeting. Always something I look forward to just because we get to eat and we get to just have a bunch of fun and everything and hang out. So, well, it's been a good week. It's been a good week so far, weather-wise, work-wise, friends-wise, and everything. And this is going to be a short kind of good morning message and everything just because I'm going to be leaving soon. But I just want to say hey and thank you for those of you who responded to my last request, which was to let me know if I should continue doing the 5-4 Club delivery unboxings during my regular vlog like this or if I should make a separate video area of my account, like different groups of videos, just for those unboxings. I'm still open to more feedback, so if I get more people saying that they want to see one or the other, then I'll make the switch. So just let me know, and I'm still recovering from a little bit of a sickness, as you can probably hear in my voice and just my throat and my nose right now. Nothing too serious. If it continues for like more than a week after this, then maybe I'll see a doctor, but it's been totally easy going for right now. I'm, I'm just, I keep on looking at this tissue box that I got. It's frozen thanks to Kleenex Cool Touch. It was just part of a package, but I'm a big Disney fan. Just got back from a haircut and it's easily one of the best haircuts I've ever had. Shout out to 9th Street Parlor here in Lynchburg, Virginia, downtown Lynchburg. And got the beard trimmed up and everything really nicely and all this. And gosh, I, I mean, like he did everything. And so definitely suggest if you're in town, if you're in Lynchburg and you need a haircut, or if you just want to get a nice haircut experience. And just like super classy barbershop, 9th Street Parlor, and it's not expensive or anything like that. I uh, paid 30 bucks for my haircut, including tips, so I definitely recommend it. But picked up my brother on the way home. He's got a track meet coming up tonight. It's his regional track meet, and he's gonna be pole vaulting. So hoping and praying that he does extremely well. After that, he's got like I think just states. I'm like I'm gonna be treating you to a haircut at this place because you need to just trim up and everything. He hasn't had a haircut in like six months, but his hair doesn't grow super super fast. So anyway. I'm going to be going over to Megan's house just to kind of hang out. So I'm out here for another super late scope, uh, or scope, sorry, I've been involved with periscoping a lot. A super late vlog, a little after 2 o'clock in the morning here Saturday in Lynchburg. I'm going to be editing this and hopefully getting it to you guys by like some point halfway through the day on Saturday. It was a long day, a good day. My brother did fairly decent for his pole vaulting thing, which is what I left off with you guys, and he has states. He's competing with the whole state of of Virginia this coming weekend so he's got a week to prepare and rejuvenate and everything and get ready for this whole thing so we're pretty excited for him. Then we came back to my place after grocery shopping and did Megan's first ever pop tart. She had never tried pop tarts before so we got the brown sugar cinnamon flavor. If you're familiar with pop tarts at all, I grew up on them and so I've tried just about every flavor that there is and there are so many of them and so we just went with something pretty simple. She tried one and it's kind of an acquired taste for her, kind of, which is funny because some of the food that she um, has made for me or that her family has made for me has been acquired taste because she's Filipina and so I'm very gladly I'm used to her cultural tastes and stuff so I was very happy to see that she was actually by the end of it she had really enjoyed it. We went back to her place and just watched TV and hung out with her roommates and roommates, siblings and stuff so it was an overall good night. Got some things done and I'm just going to be downing my protein shake and all also, uh, in a bowl of oatmeal just before I go to bed. I didn't really show you guys, but I think it's actually cinnamon roll flavored oatmeal. Yeah, I'm going to be calling it a night here, as you guys can probably tell. Maybe I sound a little bit tired, but hopefully my throat and my nose are cleared up and everything. My voice comes back fully by the end of this weekend or something. So, also hoping to hear back about um, a possible day trip that Megan and I will take. Maybe this weekend, I don't know. Hopefully sometime in the very near future. Hoping to be able to take this trip. So, I'll keep you guys posted on that and if you enjoyed this vlog please let me know by commenting below or just giving me a thumbs up is also a good way to let me know and interact with me let me know what you guys think of this vlog and any suggestions for future topics i'm just open to anything i'm just sharing my life with you guys and also don't forget to subscribe have a good night